Hey y'all, my name is Amber and I'm with 143 Vinyl. And today I am going to show you how to remove a background and trim your images using Photopea. <laughs> Photop is a free online photo editor. It is like Photoshop, but we're gonna call it Photoshop Lite because it's very easy to follow and very user-friendly. This helps get your images ready for print when you upload them to the layout designer on the 143 Vinyl site. So without further ado, let's go on ahead and get started with the project. So when you go to photop.com, you're gonna click on open from computer. And then you're gonna select your image from the folder and it's gonna populate into this canvas here. So as you can see, I have a lot of white space and I wanna get rid of it all. <laughs> the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the background. And the easiest way to do that is with the magic wand. And your magic wand is located over in your toolbar and your toolbar is located on the left-hand side of your screen. So you're gonna select magic wand and then up here at tolerance, I pull my tolerance up Tolerance ensures that your image is hardened, so you're taking away fake outlines. Those white outlines are around your images sometimes that you kind of see, and those will print if you don't remove them. So the best thing to do is to pull up that tolerance, get that background removed completely to the image so that you can just avoid the fake outline completely. So click on the white after you've done that, and it creates a border around your image, and then hit delete. And now you've removed the overall background, but we still have those little pieces with the white. So click on the little white pieces in between the letters and just hit delete. That's what the magic wand does. It just completely removes everything. So now we have the image completely transparent. Now what we're gonna do is we are going to trim our image. And trimming basically takes out all of this excess canvas here and it really just hones it in directly to the image. It removes all of that white space or that transparent space. So in order to do that, you're gonna go up to your menu panel. Your, sorry, your menu panel. Haha, <laughs> I can't talk today. Your menu panels at the very top of your screen and you're going to select image trim and then you're going to select transparent if it's not already selected and okay and now you've completely trimmed out your image all the way down to the edges so now that you have completely done that you're going to go up to file you're going to save it but we're going to export it instead of save you're going to export as png and as you can see, it's a three and a half by four inch high image, which is awesome because it's really the size I want for the onesie that I wanna create with it. And you're gonna click save. And then it's gonna populate into a Windows photo viewer. And the wonderful thing about this process, this step here is before you save it, you can actually scale in and see that it did not leave any of that faux or fake outline. So we have a really clean image that we're gonna save and upload to the 143 layout designer. So it's gonna be fantastic. So here you're gonna save as, you're gonna select your folder that you wanna save it in. And since I've done this a million times already today, we're gonna to go ahead and I'm just gonna save it over that. But you want to name it something different from your original file so that you know that this is the file that you have edited, trimmed, and removed the background. So you're gonna click save. And now it is ready to upload onto the layout designer. If you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out to us. We'd be more than happy to walk you through Photop or even the layout designer so that you get the most out of making your project work. So until next time guys, get crafty and we'll talk soon. Bye.